Welcome, my friends, once again to Faith Walk 101. We're so glad that you could join us. I want to talk uh, to you today about a trend that's uh, taking place today in our world. It's uh, all about emotion, sensationalism. It is huge in our world today. Uh, in fact, emotions uh, over facts uh, is uh, in the driver's seat of most people today. It's all about our feelings, isn't it? Once you hurt my feelings, it's all over. And everything seems to be about feelings today. It's a trend. And um, what we're seeing is that people are hooking our emotions and using uh, emotional things to say that they're true when they really are not. So. Emotions is what motivates us. You know, it moves us. It gets us fired up, doesn't it? Because when we are emotionally charged, uh, then we are in it 100%. But we want our emotions to be attached to the fact. And what we're seeing today is that we have a lot of emotional movements, but they really are not attached to the facts. And once you start to dig deep, into a lot of these things that's going on around us, you'll find out that the facts uh, are really don't support the emotion that's moving the movement. So, uh, and as I said, it's emotions that moves us. And so we have to be careful because many times people will come along and they'll say things uh, that will hook our emotions. And, we, and there we go. We cannot let our feelings get in the driver's seat. Feelings over facts, you know, they can be very, very dangerous uh, because uh, feelings are not facts. <laughs> and so that's what, you know, when we look at the gospel, it's about the facts of the gospel. And that's what moves us. You know, that's what our emotions get behind the facts, the fact that Jesus Christ died on the cross. He came back to life. These are facts. And when we experience the emotion of the fact that he died for us and what he did for us and how he set us free. That emotionally moves us into a, a lost and dying world. So we know that uh, feelings are not facts and that uh, if you treat your feelings as though they are facts, then what you're going to do, you're going to eliminate the need to be able to write a divide. Once you let your feelings get in the driver's seat, then there's really no need an individual, for an individual to want to write a divided truth. <clears throat> you know your feelings, if they're led, they're led by them only will make you unwilling to gather the facts. So if you're, feeling, if you're led by your feelings, you're going to be unwilling to want to gather the facts because uh, feelings in the driver's seat is full speed ahead. So why do we let our feelings control our lives? Why do we do it? Uh, well, a lot of it is because uh, we're lazy thinkers. You know, we uh, like it when someone else can think for us, when someone else can lead us. Uh, but the Bible tells us we should exercise our faith. But a lot of times uh, we just want to give our minds a vacation and we just want to let uh, all the things that out there in the world just sort of filter into our heads and lead us. And that can be a very dangerous thing. Uh, but let me say this, feelings are not bad. Uh, emotions are not bad. When uh, the facts are in line with our emotions and our actions, uh, we'll, we'll be a very powerful uh, people. The Holy Spirit will work very powerfully through us when we line the facts up with our emotions because it's the foundation of uh, that anchors the truth. The facts is what anchors our truth. You know, uh, the fact is that Jesus died for us, and our truth is anchored on that. And that's what should move us. So how, why can a feeling be so dangerous? Because uh, basically, your feelings can't be trusted. <laughs> That's why they're dangerous. Uh, people will say things, uh, and uh, a lot of times they're not based on the truth. 
And uh, we need to know uh, the truth before we act on our feelings. And a lot of times it's the other way around. Um, Proverbs uh, 3, 5 says, We're to trust in the Lord and lean not on our own understanding. The facts inform our feelings on how we should live. And so as we rightly divide the word of God, we're receiving the facts and the facts are informing how we should feel. And that's what should move us. Facts conform. What facts do? They confront a lazy mind, you know, with the work uh, that needs to be done. So, uh, you know, as I said earlier, is that um, the reason why we let our feelings lead us because a lot of times we're just lazy thinkers and we don't want to be confronted with the facts because it does challenge us. And so uh, what we do is we just let our emotions lead us. Uh, so um, feelings uh, will place you in an overwhelmed position, overwhelmed position. And that happens to a lot of people, uh, and uh, including myself. And maybe you've been there also where you're in a situation, your feelings are just all over the place, and you feel overwhelmed. People feel overwhelmed all the time. But what we need is Jesus Christ. Uh, this world is struggling because it's ignoring the facts. And the fact is, this world needs Jesus Christ. And uh, he's entrusted us with his word to take it to the world. In John 14, 6, uh, Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. The truth is, the only way to the Father is through Jesus Christ. We need Jesus. Uh, this new trend that's being led by feelings uh, only could be a people who are wanting to be excused uh, from the gospel uh, to a lost world. So when we, um, this trend of our feelings, wanting to feel good, and uh, it could be an excuse sometimes uh, from really being responsible for the facts that we have, that we've been entrusted with the gospel. And we don't want to fall into that to where it's just about feeling good and not about uh, fulfilling the rest of the responsibility of taking the gospel to a lost and dying world. You know, worship in line with the truth takes emotion to a, another level that can't be explained uh, in words. And so when we uh, take the truth and we come together and worship, our emotions, they, they go to another level uh, when it's lined with the truth. But emotions uh, have to be lined up with the truth. Uh, they can't be fake. We don't want our emotions to be fake. Uh, this world needs the real truth, not fake emotion. Uh, and Christians, uh, we need our emotion attached to the truth. And the truth is God that God wants us to take uh, our life and to walk out uh, our life uh, in faith and because we're walking by faith. We're walking by faith, not by sight. We're lining our life up according to the truth and not by trends of sensationalism because that's what the world is leaning on. Every show has to be bigger, greater, uh, has to be more excitement, uh, more weirder, and um, it's what the world is calling for. But we're not about sensationalism. We're about the facts. We want our emotions to be attached to the facts. Thank you, my friends, and I hope that was an encouragement to you. And we're just so thankful how you have encouraged us on this channel. And we hope that um, we can continue to do so. Let us know um, how you uh, think about the lessons and uh, how we can help encourage you also.